I'm NASA Kennedy's Madison Tuttle, and this is the Kennedy Countdown. The rocket that will send the uncrewed Orion spacecraft on our journey around the moon is now fully assembled at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. On Tuesday, October 19th, the spacecraft for NASA's Artemis One mission moved out of Kennedy's Launch Abort System facility for its journey to the center's vehicle assembly building. On Wednesday, October 20th, engineers and technicians with Exploration Ground Systems and Jacobs used an overhead crane to lift and lower Orion onto the Space Launch System, or SLS, stack. The first in an increasingly complex set of missions, Artemis One will test SLS and Orion as an integrated system prior to crewed flights to the moon. Through Artemis, NASA plans to land the first woman and first person of color on the lunar surface, paving the way for human exploration of Mars. NASA and SpaceX are now targeting 2.21 a.m. Sunday, October 31st for the agency's Crew-3 launch to the International Space Station. The launch shift allows additional time for spacecraft processing. The four-person crew entered their official quarantine on October 16th. They plan to travel to Kennedy October 26th for final launch preparations. The SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket and Crew Dragon spacecraft will lift off from Kennedy's Launch Complex 39A. To keep up with Kennedy, check us out on social media or at nasa.gov Kennedy.